Welcome to another video from the farm. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pet friendly rat and mouse poison. So we've always had a little problem with our grain bin, with our chicken food in. We spill a little amount every now and then when we're emptying it out on the floor. And the wild birds, the mice and the rats etc. come and take this. And now added to that we have switched to insect farming on the farm. We've got a lot of frass which has a few little grubs left in it that the rats and mice love getting hold of. Now for many of you, imagine it'll be for similar reasons you're looking at using a pet safe one, just like us. You may have lots of animals, small children, wild animals you don't want to affect. So apart from some sort of tub to mix it in, we need a couple of things. Now your first thing is a bit of animal food of some sort. Dog food, cat food, anything really. We've got a bit of chicken food here. Tub. And next, you're going to want some sodium bicarbonate powder. So, we've got a ridiculous amount to hand of bicarb because we use it for spirulina growing. But even if you want to buy a bulk bag like we've got there, it's ridiculously cheap. Way cheaper, this method, than actually buying rat poison as well. Put that in there. And I'll do another quick half scoop of the chick crumb. And then that is a 50 50 mix food and bicarbonate of soda. And then next if you're using sort of a dry food like me, you're going to want to add a bit of water or mix it into a paste. But I've got a little secret ingredient, a jar of peanut butter as well. And rats, mice absolutely love this stuff. I think it's the peanut oil that they, they can't get enough of basically. But yeah, you can just mix bicarb straight with peanut butter. But goes a bit further this way as we're a farm bait a bit more spots with this then but overall even with the cost of the peanut butter still only two three pounds cost for a ridiculous amount of poison I'm using about half that jar for this batch and then put in a good amount of hot water so we can mix all this up into a nice paste so I'll just explain why this is actually pet safe as well and it's for one reason only it's not actually a poison Instead of being toxic, like your usual rat and mice baits, this actually works on uh, the fact that they can't burp or expel gas from their digestive system. So what you're basically doing is what you've probably seen the seagulls on the beach doing when people feed them bicarb of soda. They explode on the inside and die. A bit grim, but an effective method to get rid of them. And the ingredient we're going to use to sort of do that basically makes bubbles inside them when it hits their stomach and then they swell with gas and their internal system sort of rupture and they die. But yeah, as it's only rats and mice that don't have that gag reflex to be able to burp, it's safe for every single other animal on the farm. Right, so now we've got some bait mixed up. It's a simple case, just putting blobs of this around where you know you get rat and mice activity. So we're literally just putting it where we've seen the rats and mice pop up on the edge of this slab. So they don't actually need to expose themselves and they eat that first rather than coming to the middle and eating some chicken food. So next we'll just put this around in a few of the places around the farm and then we'll come back out tomorrow and see what's been eaten. Okay so I swept all this up into a bit of a pile yesterday. It doesn't look like much has been taken but all the bits on the corner were taken so I've gone and put another big blob out there today and a few more blobs around so hopefully a couple of days should see zero signs of activity and then uh, yeah when you don't see any more of your bait get taken anymore you've got most of your mice and rats job done so yeah really simple sodium bicarb some animal feed and a bit of peanut butter and then we have an unbelievably effective rat and mouse poison anyway hope this video helps until next time then bye bye